Hey guys, it's JM. Today I'm going to show you how to create decentralized plots with the Akash network. Akash is really interesting for the use case of Chia plotting. One, because there are a lot of people that did Chia plotting and then have now their hardware the same plotting machines that are sitting idle. So this gives them a way to monetize their systems and sell plots if they have a, a fast internet connection. Uh, but the other use case is for if people want to just download plots inexpensively. So because there's probably a lot more uh, supply today for plotting power than there is demand, you can get plots very inexpensively. And this is cool for a use case if you're just filling up an external drive at a friend's house or a NAS that you don't have any plotting power on and you're somewhere remote, but maybe it has, maybe you have fast internet connection, but you know, or you're helping out a friend if you want to plot for a friend and make them some plots and have them just send them a link so they can download if they're not tech savvy. Uh, this is a really cool way to do that. So, uh, there's a, a whole blog post on how to do this and Andrew Mello and of Akash and myself, he's the head of mining and uh, partnerships at Akash, uh, did a video on this. This is going to just be a quick kind of recap uh, of that. But um, the first thing you're going to need is a Akash wallet. So you, you need this AKT token. So you can make this thing called a uh, Kepler wallet. Uh, this is the, um, I can show you here. Uh, Kepler wallet will give you a browser type plugin where you have um, you know, a, a wallet and you can uh, go through the steps to create a standard wallet. It's just like, you know, you put in, you put in your seed, it gives you seed and you write it down, yada, yada, yada. Uh, just like any standard crypto wallet. Uh, if you want to buy AKT, you can go to gate.io or Kraken and just buy AKT, or you can go buy Atom on Coinbase or somewhere else. That's a pretty major exchange and then swap it for AKT on this app called Osmo Osmosis. Uh, and in the in the blog post, you know, it goes through the steps of like, you know, creating a Kepler wallet and, you know, getting AKT. But it's getting AKT is the first step and hopefully this process will be easier uh, in the future or there'll be services that do this on the back end so you can just use your Chia to, to create plots and, and buy plots. Uh, but today you need AKT. So first step, uh, get AKT token. Uh, the next step we're gonna do is download this thing called Akashlytics. And this is the GUI for Akash. So we're gonna to go to akashlytics.com slash deploy and download the Windows GUI. And it's gonna download down here. Um, I already have it installed, so I'm going to pop this up. Now, when you load this for the first time, it's going to ask you, you know, do you wanna create a new wallet? Um, They're updating this pretty frequently, it's in beta, so just continue to check for new releases. Um, you can use your Kepler wallet if you wanted to just use the same wallet. Uh, you can input your seed here and, and your funds will show up or you can create a new wallet uh, and then it'll ask you to create a pass, uh, passphrase. So when we open our wallet, uh, we are going to see, it'll, the first thing it'll ask you to do is like to create a certificate and it'll ask you to like make a new block, uh, sorry, make a transaction on the blockchain. You'll see your uh, wallet account appear, you know, eight AKT and I have what, $10 worth of AKT. All right, so we are here in the Akashlytics dashboard. We're going to create deployment, continue. And usually you'd browse the template gallery. You can click templates over here and you're gonna click mining and Chia and you'll have the latest SDL here, which the SDL is basically the configuration file that we're gonna to send to create the plots. Um, I'm gonna use a, the latest version and hopefully this will be up. I'll send the link to this one that I'm using uh, but by the time you see this, hopefully the, this template is already updated for Chia. So we're going to create deployment. We're going to go to empty. I'm just going to copy paste in the SDL here. And uh, what we're going to do, all you need, basically this script uh, just basically downloads Chia, installs Mad Max and compiles it, and then runs Mad Max. That's it. And so uh, basically all you need to tell it is your farmer key, which you go in here and click on farmer key equals and then paste in your farmer key and you'll go do the same for your contract address. This is your plot NFT contract address for use for plotting. And remote location equals local. This is going to be the default, which allows you to basically download the plots from a web GUI. So this is really nice and slick, and a lot of users are going to use. If you are an advanced user and you want to use the SSH remote location where you give it an IP, a port, a name and password, and then it'll just automatically copy the uh, plots to that remote SSH location, you can do that as well. And uh, you can you can see down here, you can just uncomment that if you wanna use that. So in the future, um, now this uh, Akash will actually support Bladebit in the future. So that's coming, that's gonna be 
coming on their testnet. Three, they're going to support uh, instances that support that uh, amount of DRAM that will support Bladebit. And so that's already working on their testnet. Uh, but the cheap one we're going to do right now is just Mad Max and uh, Threads 8. The default is going to 8 CPU units, 6 gigs of RAM, and 1 TIB. This gives you enough space to basically create the plots, the 256 uh, gigabytes that you need for Mad Max for temporary storage, as well as some location for final storage. So hopefully the only thing you'll have to touch here is the farmer key and the contract address. Uh, ideally, that's the only thing you'll have to touch and you'll not have to do anything else. So we're going to, you can name it if you want. I'm going to name it Chia Test 1 and we're going to create de deployment. And so that 5 AKT of escrow, basically you're putting escrow into this deployment. And so it just basically, the deployment uses that 5 AKT to fund the deployment uh, until it runs out. Um, or you can always put more money in there if you want to keep the deployment plotting running longer. And if you want to cancel it at any time, you just click cancel and you send a transaction uh, that in th uh, actually uses the blockchain to uh, the Akash blockchain to you know, basically track these transactions and the provider status. So uh, what you'll do is uh, if you want to close it, you can just, you'll have to send another command. So what it's doing right now is it's sending our information to the blockchain and it's going to you're going to you're going to find uh, providers that are going to basically bid their systems to on your plotting you're saying i want to do plotting for mad max and it's basically going to give us some systems that are going to bid for these plots so you can see here there's um, a couple here this is my provider uh, bigtractorplotting.com and uh, right now i have it set you know this is for some dynamic pricing so the more demand that comes the pricing should change but right now there's not very many people on there so this instance is only going to cost us $23 per month. Um, and so this is a really good deal. This works out to be somewhere between like three and four cents a plot or something like that. Uh, ridiculously low. So, uh, so we're going to click on this. We're going to accept the bid and we're going to approve it. And what it's going to do is basically send another transaction on the blockchain that says, you know, this is the provider we want to use. You're going to put that five AKT in escrow and you're going to send that to the provider. And it's kind of held up in this contract so that it basically creates this new um, basically workload that's going to run on these remote servers and start creating plots for you. So this is really cool. What it's going to show us is um, you can see your deployment details here. You can see it's active, a time left, eight days. So that $5 of escrow or 5 AKT of escrow is going to last us eight days. And uh, we, we can basically look at the logs here. What's gonna happen is it's going to uh, start cloning uh, the Chia and Mad Max and start building from scratch. Uh, if we wanted to look at the rest of the details, you could see here available one, replicas one, uh, and the URL. So this is the URL that we're gonna click to download the plots. And you can see here the folder is empty right now as we don't have any plots in there, but I'm gonna pull up one that, that will have one here in a sec. So if you see the logs, um, so what this does, it runs everything automatically for you. You don't, now you don't do anything. You just, it just installs Chia, compiles Mad Max, and we'll start plotting uh, automatically. So there's literally nothing you have to do at all now. Uh, so I'll show you a deployment that I already did before just to kind of show you what it looks like. So uh, this is one I started earlier and you can see it's uh, happily plotting away with Mad Max here. Um, but if you go to details here, you can see the URL. This is gonna be the link that we're gonna click that will create, uh, we can download our plots from. So you can see it's, it's completed one plot. And this is a plot with my pool, uh, my uh, contract address and my farmer key. This is a plot that I created with all my attributes and you can download it from anywhere. So if you wanted to um, basically download it, you would just click, click the button here. Um, and download. And if you wanted to get the link or to download it on Linux or something, you could basically copy link address and use a wget uh, from a system. But if you're on Windows or something, just click the download button and it will start downloading the plot right there. So that's it. Uh, it's super easy. Um, again, this is gonna be really fun to basically uh, allow people to create plots for friends or you know, you know, for people that don't have high-end plotting systems if they wanna make really inexpensive plots. And if they, if they do have a fast internet connection, now I would not recommend this one, if you're on Comcast and they have some kind of download caps, like, you know, that's not good. <laughs> uh, you know, they have like a terabyte download cap or something like that, which is, you know, not very many plots. So 
don't do that. Check with your internet provider first. Don't don't start downloading plots and yell at us. Uh, you know, if you have AT and T fiber, you know you get gigabit down, and you can download a plot in about twenty minutes, I think, maybe twenty five minutes. So um, you'll have to play with it. If you are in a co location and you have an internet service that is not capped at all, that's much better. Obviously, if you're going to do like <laughs> plotting of hundreds of terabytes or tens of terabytes, yeah, you know, this is not something you'll probably want to do in your home internet. But uh, it is really cool for somebody just downloading, you know, one drive or one NAS or something full and they don't want to mess with setting up a plotter uh, and they can download plots while they sleep. Uh, this is going to be a really, really cool setup. So uh, thanks again. Bye-bye.